Let's multiply two times seven eighths. Here's how we do it. So we could just take seven eighths and add it to seven eighths. So seven eighths plus seven eighths. So we have one, two, there's our two times seven eighths. And when we add fractions, if the denominator is the same, we just keep that the same, add the numerators. Seven plus seven, that's 14. So two times seven eighths, that equals 14 eighths. But these are both even numbers, so we can simplify these. Let's divide both by two. 14 divided by two is seven. Eight divided by two is four. And we can't simplify that any further. This is an improper fraction. Seven is greater than four. So let's convert it to a mixed number. Four goes into seven one time. One times four is four. Three left over. We bring the four across. So you could write seven fourths as the mixed number one and three fourths. There is another way we could figure out the answer to two times seven eighths, like this. You could consider two to be two over one. It's still two because we're dividing by one, but now we have a fraction and we can multiply that times seven eighths. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators, then the denominators. Two times seven is 14 and one times eight, that's eight. We said that was seven fourths when we simplified it which equaled one and three fourths. So in answer to our question, two times seven eighths is seven fourths, or if you want a mixed number, one and three fourths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.